Pitching for the Dodgers tonight, Tim Belcher with a record of three and two, and her run average of 1.65. And on the mound for the Mets, left-hander Frank Viola. His record three and one for the year with an earned run average of 1.93. Hello again, everybody, and welcome to a very special evening of Mets baseball. I'm Tim McCarver along with Ralph Kiner. And an atmosphere tonight usually reserved for playoff games with the return of Daryl Strawberry. What do you think? Do you think they'll boo him or cheer him? I think it's going to be a mixed reaction because in batting practice, he got some boos. When he hit one out of the ballpark, he, he also got some cheers. And, of course, Daryl, a big name here in New York and back for the first time. It should be rather exciting, although Daryl off to a very, very slow start. Very, uh, very poor start, one for 19 on this road trip with the 11 strikeouts. He has been striking out at alarming rates this time. It was sort of great pitching matchup. Frank Viola against Tim Belcher, and we'll be right back after this from Budweiser. back at Chase Stadium. Capacity crowd on hand primarily to see the return of Daryl Strawberry. And Strawberry and the Dodgers held a press conference about three hours ago, and this is what Daryl had to say about his return to Shea. That feels great. Um, it's indeed a pleasure to be back here in New York. Um, but at this point, I'm on the opposite side. I've been here for so long, and Coming in here today, I was thinking about a lot of things, a lot of great memories here, um, great teams that I played on here, and all the players I played with, and now I come in as a visitor to play against them. Um, it's not an easy time, it's a very difficult time, because I shared a lot of, a lot of moments here at Shea Stadium. I basically thought about you know, the guys that I played with here. I thought about them more than anything, and I still think about them, um, because they were more of a family type to me because I knew them for such a long time. And to have to make that transaction and, and, and go somewhere else and make a new family it was the toughest part. So I didn't really think about, you know, when I was going to return here and what was going to happen. Well, we will see uh, what happens with Daryl Strawberry and the crowd reaction right after this word from R.C. Cola. Foul, and it's 
one and one. The closest, but not even in contention, Dave Kingman with the positive and the negative. Tom Seaver, of course, tremendous acclaim here, but 99% of it positive. A little check swing foul ball, one and two. Here is the history of Daryl Stropper. He made his debut with the Mets one right on the same day that Willie Mays was born. Willie Mays' 52nd birthday, a high drive to right. This might go. It's back there, back by the wall is Coleman, and he has it. So Strawberry bringing the crowd to his feet, but missing by...